Hi guys, in the previous lecture we learned to make the BJT circuit and plot the characteristics of BJT. But I guess to learn DC characteristics one circuit won't be enough so we'll make a JFET circuit. So we know the characteristics of a JFET, right? We have to plot VGS with respect to ID and VDS with respect to ID. So let's see how the circuit is like. So first go to file, say new schematic. Now our schematic page is ready. Then I'll have to select component. Now I want JFET. So where will I find JFET? What you see here, NJF is the N channel JFET. You can read it out here, right? Say OK and just one JFET, then right click. Now what do we need? Voltage sources? Yes. So I'll type VOL. Yes, there it is. Voltage. I say OK. And a voltage source. I'll need one here too. So another. Okay. What else will I need? Resistors? Yes. So I'll just rotate it. And yeah. Do I need more resistors? Well, usually the current, the voltage which is provided here is provided by the PD bias and so we don't really need a resistor here, okay? At least for simulation purposes, when you do it on the board, yes, you will need a resistor. So we'll put ground. Now let's select wire and connect them. Okay, here it is. Now let's name our sources. So this is connected between gate and source yes so what it is VGS so I'll just name it as VGS and this will be VDS connected between drain and source I just leave it to R1 JFET let's see pick new JFET I right clicked on it I guess the first one is fine so we'll just go with it resistance hmm let's have this as 2.4k and say okay fine now what do we need to do apply voltages yes I'll say this is zero because for input characteristics I need to sweep VGS but output uh, VDS will remain constant so what will we supply VDS as 16 volts that should do now let's say run so DC sweep first voltage which is VGS start value will start from 0 now what will the stop value be it will be negative we want to plot VGS negative since VP that is V pinch off is negative so I'll say it's minus 5 and in the increment of 0 0.1 or we'll just write 1 as of now we will change later okay so now we need to plot the current right so we'll just move our cursor over to the JFET and plot the drain current now as you see the graph is not a smooth one though it is correct the pinch off is occurring at 3 let's check right click on the transistor and click on pick new JFET and the first one if you see the dot model file you will understand that the pinch off is somewhere around that voltage Yes, VTO here. 
it is minus 3 volt here okay so just let us change this to 0 0.1 and say okay and run you see the graph has gone smoother now I can just say I can change your 2 so this is 0 0.01 and yes a nice smooth graph which cuts off at 3 now if you observe you will find it cutting off before 3 not at 3 so you can just zoom it what do you do to zoom take your cursor and then click and drag so this particular portion will be zoomed now you see the voltage 0 and still there is some voltage and it touches zero at this point somewhere here now if I had more points we might have got a much much smoother curve you know and just going off at three and now since this is zoomed to zoom out just click on this zoom full extent so you'll get your graph back Okay, now that we are done with plotting the input characteristics, let's go for output. For output, what do we have to do? We need to change VDS with respect to ID. Okay, and at certain VGS. So, we need certain currents, right? So, let's say I want a current of 1.2 between here somewhere. So, it is at around minus 2 volts then 1.8 let's see 1.8 is around here which is between 2 and 5 so ok now so let's plot the output characteristics what all do we need to change let all this remain as it is we are going to sweep VDS from say 0 to 16 and VGS we need to change from you know let's see uh, I need different values of voltages not currents this time so I'll just sweep voltage from 0 to 5 again so let's see how does it happen right click and in this let's say VDS because I want my X axis to be VDS I want to sweep it from 0 to say 16 16 volts with 1 volt as increment and my second source is VGS and I want to sweep it from 0 to minus 3 ok because it doesn't make sense to go beyond minus 3 with an increment of say 0.5 that should be it ok and simulate yes there we go we have our values so now as we see 16 isn't enough so let's just right click and say it as 20 and simulate yeah it has to saturate at some point and you will be able to find which is that point from the model definition itself now that I leave up to you as an exercise but here we have our output characteristics thank you